Welcome to the 40 of the National Republican Convention. I'm Lauren Dorsett for the South Dade News Leader. And joining us now is Scott Hopes, an at-large alternate delegate for District 39. Scott, thanks for being with us. We want to quickly to ask you what your thoughts are, what you took away from last night. I know we heard from Ann Romney. That was a, a big moment of the night as well as Governor Chris Christie. What are your thoughts? Well, Lauren, I'll tell you, last night was the, really the kickoff night because we missed Monday and we had a, a large number of very energetic speakers from governors, candidates, and of course the future first lady, uh, Ann Romney. And uh, it, was, it was an exciting night. It got us off on the right path. We're looking forward to hearing from Paul Ryan tonight. What, what are your thoughts and what are you hoping to hear from Paul Ryan? Obviously, he really kind of gathered the conservatives conservative base of this party got it together, but he is a budget expert. Are you really expecting him to solely focus on the state of our economy? I think I, I expect to hear two things from him. One is because he has such expertise in 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 addressing the economic situation in the country from, from his work in Congress. I think we're going to hear about economic policies that the team of, of Romney and Ryan are going to move forward and how they're going to cure the, the, the disastrous situation we're in from, from a jobs perspective, a, a, an economic perspective. But I think as importantly for me, because of, of, of you know, my, my health care uh, background, I think we're going to hear about his, his plans and, and policies to, to address the issues of Medicare, to make sure that Medicare is, is going to be there not only for our seniors today, but Medicare will be there for me. Uh, it's not that long before I'm going to be at that age. And, and, and our grandchildren and, and you know dealing with the the Obamacare and and how we are going to replace that with something that actually will work uh, so that 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 health insurance and health coverage is affordable for our small businesses in in South Florida and Homestead and the Redlands and, and Florida City so that these businesses can 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 actually afford to, to cover the health care needs uh, of, of their employees. And really quickly, I just want to ask, I was on the floor of the forum today doing some interviews and ran into Marco Rubio, who quickly got the attention. I think every every camera that was in the vicinity kind of quickly flocked to him. How much are you looking forward to him? He He's really garnered a lot of excitement, uh, not only for your area, but, but as well as at this convention. Yeah, Lauren, as you know, I mean, Marco Rubio is, is a very dynamic figure. Uh, he, he set forth goals when he was a Speaker of the House in Florida. Florida, and he achieved those goals. Uh, when he went on to the Senate after his tenure as Speaker, he left Florida in a much better place than it was uh, when, when he took that office. And I think what we're going to see, especially from the Florida delegation, I mean, you know, he's, he's sort of like the pride of, 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 of Florida. And we're looking forward to hearing from him. He's a very dynamic speaker, as you know. And I think he, too, is going to set the stage for, for, for victory for Romney and Ryan. Scott Hopes, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Again, for the South Dade News Leader, I'm Lauren Dorsett.